I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Thank you to my sponsor, Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Everything from hair and makeup and shampoo and beautiful hair products to eyebrow threading, which I love, teeth whitening, laser treatments, so much more. Give them a call, 296-0700, MakingFacesUSA.net. Well, is the Charlie Sheen train ever going to stop winning? After admitting that the first episode of Remember That Online Talk Show was a shameful train wreck filled with like blind cuddly puppies, yeah, that's a Charlie Sheenism too. Charlie went back online with a second episode of what he's now calling Sheen's Corner, which was nothing more than a phone conversation with a business associate. Now Sheen says he tried to use their format the first time, but he doesn't fit their format. He didn't identify who they are. Meanwhile, the number of Sheen's followers on Twitter has gone well over 2 million, and he tweets that he gobbled the soft target like a bag of troll house zombie chow. I have no idea what that means. The involuntary manslaughter trial for Michael Jackson's doctor has been put off until May. Jury selection was supposed to start on March 24th in the trial for Dr. Conrad Murray. Prospective jurors will still get questionnaires then, but Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Michael Pastor says opening arguments will now start on May 9th. The move came after Pastor asked defense attorneys earlier this week why they had not turned over more information on potential witnesses to prosecutors. Well, Stephen King's next novel takes on a real-life horror story, the assassination of JFK. 112263, the title name for the day of President Kennedy's murder, tells of a high school teacher's desperate effort to prevent the tragedy. Scribner announced that the 1,000-page book will come out on November 8th, of course, King's many bestsellers include Carrie and Misery. Well, you know that 10-year-old Canadian YouTube star? She says she can't wait to join Lady Gaga on stage in Toronto. Winnipeg native Maria Aragon posted a cover of Lady Gaga's Born This Way to YouTube, one of a dozen videos she's put online. But this one exploded in popularity after Lady Gaga herself saw the video and posted a link on Twitter. Aragon has been on a whirlwind media tour ever since, and her video has now had more than 17 million views. She even hit the Ellen DeGeneres show and ABC's Good Morning America to talk about being invited by Lady Gaga herself to perform at the Air Canada Centre concert. Aragon says she hopes to make the most of the big moment, and then she'd like to have her life get back to normal at least just a little bit. Pretty amazing for that 10-year-old. Well, the Piano Man will be bringing the news, good and bad, this summer. Harper Collins has announced details about Billy Joel's The Book of Joel coming out June 14th. The memoir will take fans on an emotional ride from the writing of such favorites as Just the Way You Are and New York State of Mind to his broken marriage to Christy Brinkley and struggles with depression and substance abuse. Joel's editor at Harper Collins, David Hershey, said in a statement, there is a lot in this book that he has never revealed before. Harper Collins also released the cover photograph, a moody close-up of Joel taken in the 1990s. The cast of Glee could be planning a Michael or Janet Jackson tribute. That's a Glee star Amber Riley has her way. Riley says it would be prolific if the Fox TV series performed a tribute to Janet. She also said a tribute to the King of Pop is overdue because his music is so timeless. The Glee cast will release its sixth CD, Glee the Music, Volume 5. It'll feature covers of Michael's Thriller and PYT, as well as the original songs like Loser Like Me and Get It Right, a first for the Grammy-nominated act. Now, Adam Anders, the show's executive producer, is more interested in covering some ABBA, he says, because I'm Swedish. Well, if Glee does it, it'll probably work. And just a little side note, there is rumor that the royal couple, William and Kate, are planning to have ABBA as their band at the royal wedding in April. A little signed copy of Justin Bieber's memoir, A Visit to the Office of Author and Cosmopolitan Editor-in-Chief Kate White, are among the offerings on a new website from HarperCollins Publishers. HarperCollins announced Thursday the launch of Book Perk, 
which promises insiders access to the world of publishing. Visitors can learn about author events, exclusive digital content, and promotional offers, including a contest to win an autographed copy of Bieber, Bieber's first step to forever. Publishers and authors have become increasingly accessible to readers in recent years through their websites, Facebook and Twitter, and personal appearances at book club gatherings have helped too. Well, in local entertainment news, the Stissing Mountain High School in Pine Plains presents Brigadoon Friday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2. For more info, call 518-398-7181. A big thank you to Making Faces Salon and Spa in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Check them out online, makingfacesusa.net. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly.